let's head to Laurel Heights for Friday afternoon Wicks of Football. The Laurel Heights Hurricanes coming off the back of a big win over Grand River, looking to keep rolling and pick up another win heading into playoffs. The Canes will kick off with the Waterloo Hawks for Gators. The Gators looking to finish strong on the road and beat the Canes. Jumping to the first quarter, the Canes with possession. Ben Young sidesteps the Blitzer and spots out Owen Brown. Owen picks up a first, and the Canes would stay in the air. It's a pass down the middle, and Andrew Schatz picks it off. And the Gators take over possession. The Gators offense come to frame, and it's Riley Braden spinning out and completing to Aiden Ziegler. Ziegler picks up a first, and here off the punt, it's more from the Gators. The ball hits the dirt on the tackle, and Tyler Bunshow recovers it for W.O. That play leading to a field goal, and it's 3-0 Gators after one. Into the second quarter now, the Hurricanes on an extended drive. Nate Sexton picks up a first on the rush, and the Canes move downfield. Here in scoring position now, and it's Ben Young spinning out and completing to Sean Smith in the corner. Smith trots into the end zone, and the Hurricanes take a 7-3 lead. The Gators right back the other way, and they keep pace. Riley Braden completes to Aiden Ziegler. Aiden picks up a first, and the Gators move downfield. Braden fighting his receivers, and it's Logan Good wide open on the near side. He receives and takes the rock home for W.O., and the Gators retake the lead. 10-7 W.O., but here come the Hurricanes. This is Jacob Shaughnessy with a rock for Laurel Heights. He gets outside for a first, and the Canes would finish off the play. Ben Young goes deep for Jake Howard, and Jake makes the catch in the end zone. That play gives Laurel a 14-10 lead, and they strike again late in the quarter. It's Ben Young on the run. He fires a pass to the corner. Jake Howard is there for another Hurricanes touchdown. And it's 21-10 Laurel heading to the half. Into the third quarter now, the Gators looking to spark a comeback. Riley Braden completes to Aiden Ziegler on the near side, and the Gators move downfield. Later in the quarter now, and W.O. would strike. It's Riley Braden to Derek Bell. Bell stutter steps his defender and takes off to the end zone. That play cutting the Laurel lead to five. And it's 21-16 Hurricanes after three. Into the fourth now, the Hurricanes with the ball. It's a short pass for Jake Howard. And watch for the wheels on this kid. Howard gets through the Gators, and he's out of there. And it's three touchdowns from Jake Howard, and the Hurricanes are up 28-16. That play gets the Hurricanes buzzing, and they wouldn't let up. It's Jacob Shaughnessy in on the pick for Laurel. He gives the Canes the ball back, and they put this one to bed. Ben Young in on the QB keeper gets to the corner, so it's 35-16. And late in the quarter, how about one more for good measure? It's Jacob Shaughnessy with the final touchdown of the game as the Laurel Heights Hurricanes explode in the fourth quarter. They take this one over the Gators with a final score of 42-16.